Well, good morning, friends. This is Gary Hines again with another edition of Meet the Team, and I've got my good friend Leon Schaub. Leon, I I first met you back in New Jersey uh, years and years ago. Had the privilege of ministering in your church, and uh, at that time, and you since relocated to the. I forgive you for having that Michigan emblem over your shoulder there. Uh, it should be a big scarlet O with a red background, you know, that kind of thing, or a gray O rather, and a <laughs> scarlet background, but we'll, we'll get beyond that today. Okay. But Hey, listen, welcome to meet the team, Leon. So listen, you're, you're getting ready to do something that I know uh, Sylvia and others are excited about with regards to a, a church plant in Michigan. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's, it's where I, I'm originally from this area. Um, when I left uh, uh, New Jersey, I came back here as my mom and dad were getting a little older to do a lot of the caring for them. So as it's gone on now, my father has passed away and I'm just back here and I've always had a love and always seen and desired revival for this county. You know, uh, I live in a county with, uh, I think the population was 22,300 and some. And over, you know, uh, my brother had originally planted a church in Lake Leland Hall. And now uh, my sister-in-law is pastor in that church. And it's the only church in all of Leland Hall County that is a spirit-filled church. So there's 22,000, you know, 300 people, and there's one church there. And, and they, they probably run, you know, 100 people, you know, as far as people who come in. Uh, so that left 22,200 people who I really don't think hear the cutting edge word of God around here. And it's just always been my desire and uh, a little bit of prodding and a little bit of, I've, I've, I've always done dual work. I've always worked both uh, in, in the culinary uh, programs and then also doing the pastoral work that I did. Now that I'm back here, uh, kind of leaving out of the pastoral as I've gotten older, it just slowed me down a little bit too much and through uh, some kind of, uh, how would I say, persistence with a few people said, you know, maybe it is time to just start pastoring again full time and do just go and do a church plan. And so uh, I have Ted and Rose from our team uh, live in Grand Rapids and very close with them. And so Ted's been real encouraging and helpful in doing everything where we, we are, as, as has Sylvia. And I just feel so good about doing it and just have I, probably the last six to eight months just had the stirring on the inside, like, you know, in the day we live in and in the darkness that's out there and just seeing people without hope. And, you know, they put their hope in a man or they're putting their hope in who's representing them, you know, in our, in our country and everything. And then when some things don't go right, they kind of lose that. But our hope is in Jesus Christ. Amen. You know? You know, and that's that's just where I my heart just burns for that, you know. And like I said, I've always wanted to see God just touch people's lives, a spirit filled church, spirit led believers who are just out there making a difference and letting their light shine, you know, in the community. Amen. Amen. And and the location for this plant is in Cedar, Michigan, correct? Yeah, correct. Cedar, Michigan. So, and it's, so for the people that aren't familiar with the geography of Michigan, there's a lot of, uh, from my recollection of geography, and it's been a while, but there's a lot of uh, peninsulas around the various lakes that, yeah. uh, that Michigan uh, is not landlocked by any means, uh, and, but it's got several, a couple of the great lakes surrounding it. And so kind of give us uh, your, let's say most people know where Detroit is, okay? Yeah. <laughs> for good or for bad, they know where Detroit is. So take us, we're going, we're going from Detroit. How do we get to Cedar, Michigan? Well, if when people say well, you're from Michigan, they say where, we always just kind of use our hand because it looks like the mitten. And here's where Detroit would be down in the lower 
um, southeast corner. Right. And we're in the little finger, what, what's known the little finger of Michigan. And it's Leelanau Peninsula, you know, and, and it's, it is, it's a peninsula that's there. It's not by any way landlocked or, you know, no bridges coming in and out of it. It's, it's totally connected. There's just water all around Lake Michigan, Grand Traverse Bay, everything there. So we're there in Cedar is uh, probably in that area, probably pretty close to being centrally located in the middle of the county. Super, yeah. super. And what's what's the name of the county again? Leelanau County. L Leelanau County in Cedar, yep. Michigan. And tell tell us the name of the church. I, I love the name. Covenant Life Church is the name and, of and, the church. And what caused you to use that name? Uh, from the time I first met Jim and Sylvia, way back when he, they were coming and they did the uh, personality profiles with with our church staff at the time. And uh, I was one of the people serving there. And he came in and he taught on that. And it just made a big difference in my life because it, it, it just was something that was there. And then, you know, it helped me find really become comfortable with who I was with those personality profiles. And then when I did just understanding after a while what covenant meant to them like you know that they'd swear to their own hurt that they'd be there for you that you know and it was the same with me even when I was in Jersey just just that relationship and and I like covenant life because uh, one of my instructors when I was at Christ for the nations uh, Pastor Richard Hanner he used to he come from a, like a holiness background and he used to say Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, he would look at you and say, yes, you are. You know, <laughs> he's your brother, you know. And, and that always stuck with me. And people who understand covenant, knowing that you can be there for them, that they can be there for you. It just always meant that, you know. And, and, and on our sign out that I have there, our logo, it's Covenant Life Church. And then it says underneath it, to know Jesus and to make him known, you know, Amen. and and that's really where the covenant part of it come from is just understanding just as FCM is, we're such covenant people. Sometimes we don't see each other for a long period of time. Some of them, I, I haven't even got to know some of them, but that doesn't mean, you know, if they're a part of what Jim and Sylvia built and, and they're doing something and I haven't met them yet. Well, they're still a part of us too, you know, and that's just always been important to me. Amen. Amen. We, so we've got a lot of brothers and sisters from another mother. Amen. That's right. Same father, That's right. Same father yeah. different mom. Amen. But yep. seriously, hey, Leon, we're looking forward to hearing great things from God. And I know that the Lord is speaking to you. Uh, Leon is a great, great teacher. One of the favorites uh, with the Covenant Life Bible College that goes on uh, through FCM and just recently taught a class and uh, had people request Listen to this. They had requests that Leon teach this class, and uh, we're just we're just honored and blessed to have a relationship with you, uh, Leon. God bless you, buddy. Uh, listen, uh, what do you see God doing in this age? And obviously, it's part of what motivated you to launch at this particular time. I mean, you're not a spring chicken, but you're not ready no. to roll over either. Uh, so obviously God's dealt with you about something. What, what do you, what are you sensing in your spirit from the Lord about the days in which we live? Well, it, it kind of goes right with even what I taught in the, that class was histories of revival. And i I just love the whole sense of seeing it, but I think, you know, we're living in a day where we know we're getting closer to the day Jesus is coming back. But he also wants to see a great revival of souls, a great harvest of souls, you know, for him, you know, and you can look at the world the way it is right now. And you can say, well, there, there isn't that high of influence, but that doesn't mean that God isn't getting ready to move. It doesn't mean that God doesn't plan on moving. You know, it, it, it's yes, it's, you know, sometimes the sovereign part of God, but it's also our responsibility to to respond to it, you know, and I think. It's just like, no, I got to respond to this. I got to be a part of it, you know, and when revival comes and we see the outpouring of the latter rain, 
you know, and it says the first and the last, how you see it come mm-hmm. down and, you know, soften the ground. And then you see the, the outpouring come to mature the crops. And I think we got to see that in believers. We got to see a maturity in people, you know, who are there, you know, and in the same way, it's not just, you know, I, I kind of think we're getting to a season where it's not just the rain that's going to come down. I think it's also going to be the wells that spring up within, you yeah. know, and, 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 you know, and, and there's a bubbling and an undercurrent that's going through and, you know, there's people who say, man, you know, I wish God would be moving. I, I think he is, you know, it's kind of like, um, I remember one time I was listening to Pat Riley and he was talking about, uh, the Chinese, or no, he was talking about uh, a certain type of bamboo tree. And he says, when you plant it in the ground, it only grew about, you know, three or four inches the first two, three years. It wasn't growing very fast. But he said each year they would grow 10 feet down in the root system. Wow. You know, and they would keep going down and down. So he says, you know, the tree may, or the, it may only be 20 inches to two, to a two feet high, but he says, but all of a sudden, because the roots were so well established and gone down when they hit water, they would just shoot and grow so ex- expediently fast, you know? And, and I think that's the same way it is with us as Christians, you know, we've gotten all of our roots going down, we got to keep, we got to keep, remain stable. We got to be there to, to help people stay stabilized so they don't just uproot with, with the nearest wind that comes by, you know, and that's kind of where I see us as, as, as a church and even as the body of Christ in general, we got to, we got to remain at our post. We got to remain solid, you know. Amen. And you're doing that. And uh, I know that the people in uh, Leelanau County, if I'm saying that correct, uh, are are going to be blessed with uh, Covenant Life Church in Cedar, Michigan. Listen, would uh, uh, pastors, would you pray for Leon and uh, uh, give the Lord would give him wisdom and discernment as he uh, launches this church within the next few weeks? And uh, we know things are going to be exciting. We're looking forward to hearing some great reports in the months ahead, Leon. And before we leave, would you do me a favor? Would you pray uh, for FCM and for our pastors and for the people that are going to view this across the country? You bet. You bet I would. Father God, we just thank you. We thank you for Faith Covenant Ministries, that, that Lord, that we are people who respond by faith, that we are people of covenant, and that we do minister to the needs of each other into in, in, in fellowship one with another, strengthening one another, being that bond, being that living organism that just continues to grow Amen. and continues to bring the, the process of life of God and the life of Jesus to others. I just pray, Lord God, for each and every member, for each pastor, evangelist, pastors, teachers, um, prophets, Lord God, that you would get, continue to give them wisdom, continue to to, to let them incline their ear to you, to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, so that we can be positioned properly for the things that lie ahead, Lord. Lord, that nothing that is done in secret, it's not that you don't reveal it openly. And I just pray that we would have eyes to see what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us. Amen. And Lord, I also want to pray for, for Sylvia and for the missions team that goes forward into Germany and into Poland and ministering in Poland. Father, I just pray that your hand would be upon them. I pray that they would have favor. The favor of the Lord would go with them. Lord God, I pray that doors would be opened. And I just pray, Father, that lives would be touched and we could see the, the, the gospel increase. But Lord, that it also, FCM, just not in America, but see that bring forth in other nations as well. Thank you, Lord Jesus, in, in your precious name. Amen. 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 Hey, listen, thank you, Leon. And uh, we speak blessing to Covenant Life Church in Cedar, Michigan. Pastor Leon Schaub. Hey, listen, you know what? It's great to be able to say that again, Leon, my brother. Pastor Leon. And, Amen. Uh, a great, great brother. Listen, I just want to remind you before we close, 
going to say it. You know what's coming, I'm pretty sure. But remember this, that you're loved and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. God bless you. And thank you for tuning in for this episode of Meet the Team.